to us like that. Everything with God is yea and amen. But you got to sanctify and prepare yourself in this meantime. We got to come to the place where we understand that no matter what the enemy brings our way, God has got it all in control. God has already worked it out from the beginning to the end. That's why God says in Revelation that I am Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith and he's taking care of everything in between. It matters not to God how long you've been going through. And for many of us it seems so long until we can barely stand on our feet. It's been so long until we're tired of crying about it. It's been so long until we're tired of talking about it. We don't even want to mention it. It's been so long until we ran out of complaints, out of murmuring. We ran out of negative speech but God says in the meantime if you would sanctify yourself, uh -huh. if you will prepare yourself to be in my presence, uh -huh. if you will come to me as a worshiper the way I created you, yeah, if yeah, you will come yeah. to me as a praiser yeah, the way yeah. I created you, yeah, uh, if you right. will love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, and all thy soul, uh, and if you will love your neighbor as yourself, yeah, uh, therein will you cross the Jordan, and therein will you enter your Canaan, uh, but we don't want to do no work, mm -hmm. no. we want God to do everything right. for us, uh -huh. we want right. to treat God like the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. We want to treat him like the sugar daddy that he is not. We want to treat God like he owes us something. God gave us the greatest gift he could ever give in his son Jesus Christ. He gave his life for you and I. He shed his blood for you and I. He got beat down mercilessly for you and I. His back got torn open for you and I. His lungs collapsed for you and I. His heart collapsed for you and I. He went through dehydration for you and I. He had to go down in hell for you and I. So watch this. I need you to sanctify yourself. I, I've given you everything that I can ever do for you. I, I called you by your name before the foundation of the world. I, I love the book of Romans and it says in chapter number 8. And we know that all things work together for the good of those that love him. I, to those who are called according to his purpose. I, God called us and he purposed us. I, he purposed us and he predestined us. I, he predestined us and he glorified us. He sanctified us. I, so the thing is, is that it's up to you and I. I your Canaan, uh huh. How bad did you want your land that flows with milk and honey? How bad do you want to cross over the Jordan and stop hanging on this side where nothing is happening for you? Uh? You gotta sanctify yourself. Uh? You gotta make it up in your mind uh, that God, no matter what goes on, I'm gonna give you my all. Uh? I'm not gonna be deterred or be messed up in my mind uh, about what the enemy brings my way. Uh? How can I do this and know that I can do this? It's because when you look back over your life, when you look back over the last six months, uh, when you look back over the last year, God has been faithful to you. Uh -huh. God has been so faithful to you. Uh, he's opened doors that you didn't even know how they were going to be open. Uh, when they told you you couldn't get a job, God bless you with a job. Uh, when you thought you were losing your mind, he regulated your mind. Uh, when your heart and spirit was broken, he eased the pain and gave you peace and joy. Uh, when you stepped out on faith to take care of something in your life, uh, God was always right there. He told you what to do and how to do it. Uh, he told you when to say it and why to say it. Uh, the Holy Spirit was right there leading you. Uh, he allowed God, God allowed his Holy Spirit uh, to be your guide, your mentor, and your comforter. Uh, to be your strength, hallelujah, and to be the revealer of the purposes and intents in the hearts of men. Uh, but you gotta do something. Right, God is ready right. to cross you over, but you gotta sanctify yourself. Yeah. You gotta sanctify your mind. Uh, you gotta right. sanctify yeah. your heart and your soul. Uh, well, Pastor, how can I do that? Uh, when you go to your house, amen, uh, you can find a place to be a worshiper in that house. That's right. uh, you amen. gotta give God some time in worship. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. want to hear from God, you got to spend time studying yeah, His right. Word. Yeah, you yeah. want God yeah, to bless yeah. you, then you got to be yeah. able to forgive your enemies. Right. Uh, you got to right. be able to forgive your loved ones. Uh, yeah. You got to be able to forgive your friends. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You got to be able to forgive Bobo on the street. Mm -hmm. You got to right. be able to forgive and love your church members. Yeah. Uh, you got to love, 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 yeah. love uh, because right. God is love. Uh, you got to forgive right. because Amen. God first forgave yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. In the context of that is God is saying that I've already forgiven you. You won't talk to me, but I've already forgiven you. You don't like me, but I've already forgiven you. You don't love me, but I've already forgiven you. With the predisposed thought that eventually you will come my way. So that you'll receive the things that I have for you. God wants to manifest this Jordan and his Canaan in our lives, but we are holding up the progress. We blame it on Bobo, Shishi, Rara, and everybody else. Uh, we blame it on every trial that we're going through. Uh, 